Hey everyone, it's Joe from The Automator. And today's video, this is a script. We have actually have two different scripts. Um, one's for V1 and one's for V2. We This came up at one of our hero calls a while back and we shared it with the other hero members, but I realized we didn't make a video to explain what it is um, to document it because it's, it's pretty cool. So if you look here, um, this is the one we borrowed uh, from... Algamist. Algamist has, a, he's a great programmer, does a lot of stuff. I've seen mostly in V1. And it um, it comes with the Adventure IDE, which is a, a auto hotkey editor um, that you can use. I'm going to launch it here and we're going to see, um, you can see it'll go through the built-in variables, built-in auto hotkey, and you can search. So here I'll say desk. Oh, okay. And you see the values that they have, which is interesting um, that that's shown that way, but you get the idea, right? So this is Algamist version of V1. Someone, and I don't think it was us, so I'm leaving the who did it separate, made a similar approach for the V2. So desktop should be about the same, uh, but you can see there's hundreds, well, I'd say at least a hundred, probably more of built-in variables. Um, and so you have a V1 and a V2 version. Um, very cool to have, if, especially if you're new to it and you forget, like, is there a variable? Hey, I could have this thing launch real quickly, do a quick search. And not only trying to remember if there is a, a variable that does what I want, but also when you're programming, sometimes you have expectations of what it is. And this is a great easy way to peek at what that variable is, um, just to remind you of what that value is, that that, that parameter is that you should have there. Because sometimes we, we found a, a weirdly weird um, issue with the case sensitivity of the, I think it was the auto hockey path, it had to be a certain case. And um, I think we've, we've got that fixed in V2, but it was it was pretty funny of like, man, we spent a lot of time on that. But I um, hope you enjoyed that. Please like the video if this helped you out. Um, I'll put the URL up here. The download will have both V1 and V2. So you get to choose which one you want to use depending on which version of AutoHotKey you're using. We highly recommend V2. But um, if you're sticking with V1, there's a V1 variable available. If you want to learn more about this, you might consider joining the HK Hero Group. We meet three times a week. We have three hours of calls where we help people work on auto hockey stuff um, or go through one of our intro to auto hockey courses. Um, we got several different levels. They're great courses. They give you a nice, clear path for learning auto hockey. Most of the videos in the courses are three to five minutes long. Um, and then you have a table of contents to help you understand you know, what to learn next. So hope you enjoyed that. Have an awesome day. Cheers.